everyone. Today is the 16th of September. It is Sunday. Um, while I shuffle the cards, um, I'm going to talk about what prayers we need to send out today. Um, first and foremost, um, we need to send out prayers to those uh, dealing with Lawrence. There have already been some reported deaths um, from what I've seen um, posted. Um, it's pretty devastating and sad. And let's continue to pray and send out good vibes to those dealing with that. Um, my friend Misty prayers. Um, her depression is getting worse as is um, her treatment there at the facility that she is at. And then let's pray for my friend Brenda, aka Nature's Fairy here on uh, YouTube. She's going to be starting chemotherapy for multiple myeloma, which is a form of cancer. Um, so she's in need of prayer and healing this morning. And I apologize for my voice. It's pretty much first thing in the morning. <clears throat> I got a lot to do, so. get started. And I said I was going to talk about that while I shuffle. <laughs> I can't multitask very well. Um, so I'm shuffling the cards right now to the side here. And I want to make sure you guys are able to hear me, so you guys, unfortunately, don't get to watch, really watch me shuffle and draw the card. Which kind of sucks. Until I figure out a way or have, like, the, the equipment so that you guys can hear me while watching me shuffle. Um... This is how it's going to be. That way I know for sure you guys can hear what I say. <clears throat> if you um, want to want me to uh, add you to my prayer list, uh, just let me know. Um, you can email me at... Well, I'm going to be getting a new email. Um, but for now, you can, uh, email me at Julian, J-U-L-L-I-A-N, period, hits, P-I-T-T-S, 87, at gmail.com, if you want me to add your name to my prayer list. And then just specify uh, whether or not you want me to um, say your name and a little bit about what you need prayer for. Um, in that email, uh, just let me know if you want me to mention it here on these videos. Otherwise, you'll just be part of my, uh, my personal prayer list and not be mentioned. Um, here on the videos. I don't want to put anybody's business out there that doesn't want out there. So just specify whether you want me to just add you to my personal prayer list or if you would like me to uh, say something on the videos.
So I'm done shuffling. So now I'm moving the deck. Card. And you know what I didn't grab this morning out of my little cubby? I have the card, which is it's my favorite place. Normally I have this all set up. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Okay. I forgot to grab this out of its little cubby. Um, so my favorite place. My camera is not working for you guys. I'm going to have to turn it off. So my favorite place says, I know there are places upon this earth that resonate deeply within me. I open myself to the healing power of these places. They are unique just as I am unique. I love this card, and there's another card like it that um, I really like, and there's a reason. Oops. Sorry. Um, okay. So, I'm going to show you the, in the, the booklet itself for my favorite place um, for a moment. And again, I apologize for the focus, but you see um, where it says location and primary element. Uh, usually that's filled in in the book, um, as I've read in previous videos. Um, for my favorite place, the GPS coordinates, location, and primary elements are what you feel because it's literally your favorite place. So my favorite place uh, would be different from someone else's favorite place. So I would write down um, those things in this booklet for myself, which I haven't because um, as time goes on, our favorite places change. Uh, when I first got this deck, my favorite place was... Um, in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, there, uh, there by our local library, uh, was this big fountain and that was my favorite place then. Um, now here in Maine, in Rumford, um, there is a, um, they call it a park. Um, it's called Chisholm Park. And what it is, is just like a little horseshoe nature trail down by the river. And I love that place. So obviously that place's uh, GPS and location and element are totally different from um, the, the fountain in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Um, so the key energies for my favorite place, and I apologize if you can hear my kiddo, he is, he's laughing. I wasn't sure if he was laughing or crying, but he's laughing right now. He's pretty loud at 6.47 in the morning. <laughs> okay, so the key energies are sanctuary, personal connection, acceptance, and beauty. Um, the location, again, um, that depends on you. Um, you know where your favorite place is. And I just told you that's my favorite place. Primary element, again, that depends on you. Um, the primary energies for my favorite place are earth and water because it's down there by the river and, of course, it's a little nature, tiny little nature trail. Hmm. <sighs> I'm going to read, it's a very short description, it kind of, this is a really short one today. So, description, uh, Stacy DeMarco says, my backyard and my favorite place cards, so there's two cards that are, um, that are for me personally, um, 
that depend on you. Are two of the most personal cards in the deck. Maybe I should just read instead of talking, you know, willy nilly. Because they involve you and your personal preferences. I suggest that you write down your impressions here in the space in pencil so you can track and map your own sacred backyard. So again, she has uh, space for me to do that. And again, I apologize for my cutting my um, laptop camera. And then it says, when you visit, again, this is... This isn't something I normally read, but it's really short and only you know how you feel when you visit this most aligned of places for you. Write your impressions here and describe what it's like to visit. So again, this is for you. I can't put a description for you. You know, um, you know what your favorite place is. Um, you want to write that down somewhere and just kind of keep it in mind um, go ahead and again same thing for uh, writing your impressions down if you want to do that go right ahead um, otherwise just kind of keep it in mind today um, and since my favorite places come up if you're able to today I would visit your favorite place um, I would do that today. I would make it a point, if you're able to, to visit your favorite place. So again, your favorite place's message today. I know there are places upon this earth that resonate deeply within me. I open myself to the healing power of these places. They are unique, just as I am unique. So keep that message in mind. Um, as you go through your day and it might not apply to you today it might apply to somebody uh, close to you today so keep that message in mind and again I would um, because that card came up today I would try to visit your favorite place today if you're able <clears throat> okay guys so here's my favorite place again I hope you all have a great Sunday. Enjoy your day. And walk.